Good morning, friends, and welcome to Project Life 2022. This is week 29. I'm sorry I've been uh, absent from YouTube for the last week or so, uh, but this is the reason. We got a new puppy, and he is adorable, and he is an absolute handful. So that's what's been going on. So as you can see, I've got a tip in here. Um, this one's more or less done. I may throw a little bit of stickers or something on here, but... I don't think it'll be too much more than what's already there. And then I thought I would focus on this. So as I always do, I stuck all my pictures down and uh, just kind of pulled a couple of odds and ends. So there's one of my DIY week title cards. Sorry about that. Grabbed a little embellishment from a kit that I had. I don't even know how long ago. And I pulled some of my stamps. This is from the Allie Edwards Stories by the Month kit for July or June of 2021. I'm not sure. And I don't remember if this is also, this one might be a Citrus Twist card. Because the Allie Edward cards aren't usually double-sided. So, And I pulled a few of my stamps. And I'm going to see if I can get this done before the puppy wakes up. So hang tight and I will be right back. This layout actually ended up coming together fairly quickly. Um, I think it was because I was a little bit under a crunch for time, but it was not too bad actually. I'm just gluing down the numbers from the uh, Citrus Twist puffy stickers that I just pulled there. These ones are old. Uh, and so they're losing their stick. Oh, uh, what else is going on? Um, I had originally planned to have a different picture there in the lower right hand side. And I had already pulled the embellishment. So I just did a little story about how I painted my kitchen before the puppy came along. And I just love the vintagey look of that sticker. I've got uh, the three by four on the far right is a piece of chipboard from I don't even know how long ago. And it says something like bloom where you are planted. And I just wanted to throw it in here because the colors matched really nicely. And I just put it next to the picture of the tree on my street. And honestly, it's a very, very simple layout. I do a very little bit of stamping and not a whole lot of journaling because the journaling that I do have is uh, to do with the puppy, which is on that tip in page that I showed you at the beginning of the video. And I did a little bit of journaling on that lower right hand four by six photo, which is just about how every year I have a summer to do list. And this year my to do list included painting the house. So. Glad I got that done before we got a puppy. Wow. <laughs> Was not prepared for the amount of energy. You forget when you haven't had a puppy in 15 years. You forget how much energy it requires. So I'm sure you'll see plenty of Teddy in the upcoming videos. Uh, what else is going on here? Oh, I'm going through an ephemera pack. This ephemera pack is mostly travel related. And so not a whole lot. Yeah, not a whole lot will apply. But I thought I would look through and just see if I could make something work. And in the end, I put it on the uh, three by four photo of my tiered tray, which is from I think last week's video. I also pulled my puffy hearts trying desperately to use those up so I can concentrate on other embellishments. They're very easy to use. And I screw up the date, of course, again. I think originally I stamped July 9th to 12th, and it should have been July 9th to 14th or 15th. And I, anyway, it. I'm a mess when it comes to stamping the date. I need to have a calendar or something on my 
table when I'm doing my filming because I tend to use the calendar on my phone and of course my phone is recording so I can't access it so that'll be a goal moving forward adding some more puffy hearts sorry if you can hear some noises in the background the puppies are snoozing All right, it looks like, yeah, this is where I goof up the date. I would love to know what you all use for your date stamp. I'm pretty sure this ended up being a dollar store uh, date stamper, and I'm not in love with it. It's not a really good one. I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Where do you get your date stamp, and do you have a favorite one? So let me know. Okay, folks, I'm pretty sure I'm done. I am going to put this in a page protector and I will be right back. So all done. So this is the tip in and I'm thinking it's going to go in front. And then when you open, it's going to say week 29. Probably should have done something like new puppy there, but that's okay. So that's it for me for today, friends. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next video. Bye for now.